Hello Summoners, Shakers, or Kalebot here and welcome to yet another installment of the Analysis Corner brought to you by Cooler Master and LOL Pro. Today I wanted to talk about Face of the Mountain and the utility that it has on tanks and I wanted to mention especially non-support roles. The player in the spotlight today is Darian again but this video is actually serious today so let's get started. So to start off, this might have looked to some of you as something really troll, similar to his Man Immune Aatrox or his Death Cap Shivana. However, it's actually a really good purchase, and let me explain why. So let's start with numbers. To start, I'm sure most of you know what Face of the Mountain does, so I'll skip the passives. Basically, you have a minion execute that heals an ally and gives them gold, and you also have a shield active that can be placed on any ally for protection. Looking solely at base stats, you'll notice that this item is already cost efficient by itself. It's worth roughly 200 more gold than the stats given, meaning it has a 1.11 cost efficiency, which is really good since we're actually not taking into account the passive and the active. Now, let's have a look at those and I'll start explaining why this Darien build is so smart. So, first off, the heal given from the execute actually scales off of 1% of the user's maximum HP. This isn't really that big of a deal, but I wanted to say it. Secondly, and much more importantly, the shield you have scales off of 10% of your maximum health, and this is actually very impactful. Looking at the health values of the user, you'll see that when you have a very tanky champion, that'll obviously mean that you'll give a very strong shield. Also, to further prove that this is a very cost-efficient item, you'll notice how much gold worth a shield with those HP values is worth. In Darien's case, his endgame build had 3818 health, meaning he could shield anyone for 381.8 health. This is literally the same as investing on a giant's belt. So imagine Darien shielding someone like Genja. You're giving Genja a squishy target, a squishy AD carry, a giant belt for 4 seconds, so it's a really impactful item if you have a tank and the tank can use it correctly on the AD carry. So now let's look at type A assassins comp. Zed, Jax, Leona, Evelyn, Sivir. A super strong engage team with Sivir's ultimate, paired with a plethora of crowd control coming from Leona, Jax and Evelyn, not to mention Zed's immense assassination power. Darien's purchase is simply a way of Gambit fighting against the assassination power of Zed and the power that the TPA comp had potentially of removing someone from the map really fast. Overall, the face of the mountain was and is a very smart purchase on super tanks like Mundo or Shivana, albeit we didn't see much usage from it as Gambit were already somewhat ahead. Another note I'd like to make would be the overall itemization by Gambit. We see Edward's Sona with a realized Crystal Scepter. We see Diamond Prox's Lee Sin with Sunfire, Randwins and Ruby Sidestone, not to mention the very tanky Darien, and Genja who likes to get a Guardian Angel earlier than most AD carries. Gambit played it safe and also very smart, completely nullifying TPA's comp. That's all for today, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of the Analysis Corner. I'm really trying to make these weekly as I know you thoroughly enjoy them. I'll see you guys in the rift, Shakara is signing out.